Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's confusing. Yeah. Before anybody yeah. records anything, it's just getting ridiculous <laughs> now that all of the series are meant to be in high school somewhere, yeah. and nobody looks like they're in high school. If you, if, if I seen you in high school, I wouldn't go through the door. <laughs> you know, it's like. I guess it's the way it's always been since like the original 90218210 days with like Luke Perry, you know, being like 31 well, and the or whatever. Content is so mature that yeah. like I think it's difficult for an actual 15 year old to do what we do um, and also he is from another planet so you don't yeah, know yeah that's my excuse I'm an alien boom <laughs> so, you, there you go. so you really don't know they could age in a different way um, Benjamin that's Button or something about our show. <laughs> but that's the interesting thing about the show is, is that they do seem to age at the same rate as because they start out and the character is 6 years old and they meet up in high school yeah. so they seem to age at the same rate the tribe of warriors. Uh, warriors. So they, I just think maybe I always thought like you're the warrior tribe is yeah. just like a more manly so he's tribe. He's basically the army. Y yes. <laughs> I mean, I've seen 16 year olds that are like women that I'm like, oh, this girl, like. Yeah, you go to like, Texas, you go down to the south, those corn fed like, white boys <laughs> over there. <laughs> the guy. They're freaking huge. No, I don't, like, you see some girls nowadays. Like, I was at the mall yesterday, and the woman was like, oh, you should not be wearing high heels, honey. And I was like, what? And she, I was like, she's like, what are you, 16? But then I see other girls who are, like, 16 years old, and, like, they look like they're, like, 25. Like, they are fabulous, and, like, they know themselves. Yeah, th this new generation is, yeah, they're different. And this is also in the future, so I'm trying to make ideas. She's making a good time. argument, you gotta admit. She's not just a pretty face, you know? She's not go with the whole warrior angle. Right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Taylor has a kind of love interest-ish kind of thing going on. Is it going to be with fun? herself? <laughs> No. <laughs> so is that gonna progress? I'm getting um, jelly. I'm getting jelly. <laughs> Tell us. Um, it definitely does progress. I mean, you're gonna see in the next episode that it does go further. Um, I think she's very drawn to Sophia. I think she has um, she has a special place for Sophia. Um, and I think that it, it does go further in a bond. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be the bond that people expect, but uh, they definitely do move forward. And, you know, they're all for girl power, those two. And I think she really nurtures and takes care of Sophia. How do you, how do you feel about, you know, this show trying to tackle that as a subject about, I mean, it's not that, it's, it's not like a new subject of having uh, two women in a relationship together, but it's not. I don't really feel it's always marketed towards like the teen crowd that we've seen. Um, so how do, how, do you guys, how do you guys feel like about the show trying to make those steps? I think it's cool. I mean, as you know, it, it, the more people that can relate to the show, mm -hmm. the better. I mean, if there's gay girls watching the show and think that's cool that they're doing it, I love that. Because and TV I'm a part is of real that, life. So. It's real life. It's yeah. you know people's lives on TV that you're watching. And that happens in real life. People are drawn to who they're drawn to. So I think it's an interesting thing. Yeah. And if people, you know, if people have their own views on it. I'm sure you know the cast has their own views on it. But um, people, you know, tween like kids want to watch, you know, real life. And that happens in life. That happens in schools. And people get interested interested in one another and fascinated by one another. And um, I think it's a fun thing. I think it's a fun thing to play. And as an actor, I think it's 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 great to get to explore explore that. Yeah. Do you feel a pressure about such heavy topics being kind of portrayed by you guys, like interracial relationships, racism, racism, racism yeah, all that, that stuff? Yeah. I mean, you guys touch on some heavy stuff, but yeah. under the guise of science fiction, do you feel a little bit more comforted by doing that, or do you feel... As actors, you have to, I believe, as an actor, you have to be open to anything. Um, I think a lot of actors are very open to all ideas, all ways of life. Um, we get to play, as actors, so many different... We want to, too. Yeah, we want to play different things, and, and you're telling somebody's story somewhere. Um, 
So I think I think it's an interesting thing, and I think for us it's, I mean, reading the pilot, I loved the idea that there was a sector and people were having to, like these kids were integrating into a school system that they were accepted in, and how many times kids in school do they not feel accepted? Um, I'm sure I'm, I've been there. I mean, I'm sure, I don't know if he's been there. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you were a football player. I don't know. You were a part of the tribes in high school. I don't know. Um, but I think that's what kids want to see is they want to relate to. And I think it's just such an honor to be a part of that and be a part of a show that is so present and interesting and uh, tackles, you know, situations that, that are actually going on in our world today. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Will you be back before the end of the season? I don't know. I'm not really quite sure if, uh, if I'm going to be going back. Uh, I would love to go back. The okay. show everybody, everybody I'm Irish American. Irish American. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's asking me a question. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be there, going, drop again, diva. Uh, going back. Um, but we'll find out. I, I, the creator is amazing. The cast is awesome. It's so much fun. And it was an amazing role. So oh hopefully gosh, cool I will thing. let you know if I am. Thank you. I it's a family heirloom. Well, no, it's Thank cool. you. Thank so you. So I could be like some old, like, something from your grandma. And then date or something. That's question? rad. That's cool. Oh, okay. Okay. All good. I, yeah, my fa Finley, my, what? Well, I'm sorry. My family's Irish. I rep the, uh, the Irish. Talking about you know? Irish. Do you want to do an um, interview with my nerve reaction? Oh, yes. Yes, but I can't think of the name right so now. But Finley means fair-haired warrior. That's why I have this tattoo. So I think that's cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. My first name is Brian, which means strong. Brian Baru is the king of Ireland. Baru. And, and my dad owns a bar, and two yeah. bars down, it's called Brian Baru's. I've been yeah. getting drunk Brian there Baru since I was 16. No, Brian Baru's like 21. That's why. Brian Brews, it's like one of the coolest amazing. bars. And yeah, I know, yeah. explains why he looks this way in high school. They were going to do a movie <laughs> about Brian Baru. Well, and it was going to be, uh, <laughs> I can't remember who's attached to it, but look it up. It's because he's, uh, I can't think of it. Maybe Russell Crowe. Maybe Russell Crowe. He loves Russell Crowe. Of course. Russell does anything. He can do anything. As long as it comes but it was going to be about Brian Baru. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thank you.